just when you thought you'd chosen your next car. Meet the Kia Cerato S Automatic with wireless Apple CarPlay and a fresh new look from just 27490 drive away. Your move. For Harvey Norman, your computer specialist. Geelong's most trusted news, Bay 93.9. Expecting a shower or two tomorrow with a top of 17. Broadcasting on Water a Wrong Country. Hi there, it's Will with the latest update. Premier Jacinta Allen maintains she doesn't know exactly when lawyers were hired to cancel the Commonwealth Games. Reports suggest it was three weeks before government announced the event had been ditched. Ms Allen says she was aware lawyers were providing advice in the weeks leading up to the decision to cancel. Look, I don't have the advice um, on the exact date as that was a matter that was being handled to the Department of Premier and Cabinet at the time. A man's been taken to hospital following an incident at Ocean Grove Beach. Paramedics were called to reports of a diving injury just after six this morning. A man believed to be in his 60s was treated for back pain. Gippsland residents have gone from one extreme to the next on alert for fires and then floods. Up to 150 millimetres of rain is expected in the region today with concerns for the McAllister and Goulburn rivers while local roads in Sale are already underwater. Meantime, police have rescued a 43-year-old man in flood waters at Alexandra in the high country. It's believed he was on a tractor trying to rescue cattle last night when he got into trouble and was soon taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The survivor of a suspected mushroom poisoning lunch has attended a memorial service for his wife, Heather Wilkinson. Ian was among hundreds of other mourners for the 66-year-old's farewell in Gippsland. Heather and her sister and brother-in-law, Gail and Don Patterson, died after experiencing gastro-like symptoms after a meal in July. Joe McCracken has been elevated to opposition whip after just a year in Parliament. The member for Western Victoria assigned to the role under leader John Pesciuto's shadow minister shake-up. Local MP Richard Reardon added emergency services to his current role as Shadow Minister for Housing. And police in Thailand say two people were killed in a shooting attack in a Bangkok shopping mall were both foreigners. Five other people were wounded before the 14-year-old alleged gunman was arrested and police say the boy had been receiving psychiatric treatment but had skipped his meds. Awaken your senses. The all-new MG5. Baseball. Winford Newtown, where boutique is best. Adelaide's Tom Duday's declared he wants to join the Lions in 2024. The 26-year-old has nominated Brisbane as his preferred destination as a free agent. The Crows defender knocking back an approach from AFL Premier's Collingwood. Callum Mills says he doesn't take the captaincy for granted with the Sydney co-skipper speaking since badly injuring his shoulder in a Mad Monday incident. He's set to miss the early stages of next season and Mills says it was a tough conversation when he told coach John Longmire. As soon as I found the results, I went into horses office and, and told him exactly what happened and as you can imagine he was extremely disappointed as am I myself. And Aussie soccer great Tim Cahill is one of seven new inductees to the Australian Sport Hall of Fame. The first Indigenous Australian to win Olympic gold at Nova Paris will join him. Here's a massive offer from the team at the Grange Warn Ponds and Simmons Homes. Get $104,000 in Simmons Homes bonuses exclusively when you purchase a house and land package at the Grange Warn Ponds. With land titling now, plus easy access to the train station and freeway and using one of Victoria's biggest builders. Don't miss your last chance to secure land in Warn Ponds. View this massive offer now at thegrangewp.com.au forward slash promo. T's and C's apply. Bay weather. Bellarine Springs Retirement Community Village Open Day, Sunday 21st, Central Road, Drysdale. Cloudy this evening across Geelong and the Surf Coast. A couple of showers tomorrow, heading for a top of 17 degrees. And for Friday, cloudy, a top of 15.